Hey guys! Hey! Welcome to another episode of Interstage Window. Do you notice anything different today? Landon, do you notice anything different today? <laughs> I'm no longer and I'm not a uh, background character or voice from the beyond. I am here in front of you. <laughs> oh my god, it's so amazing. I'm so excited. I finally got my equipment set up so that we can actually have um, you guys see Landon. And um, we thought this was the perfect episode to do it, right? Like, let's do it for Halloween. We'll do costumes. Um, we'll do a very special episode, which is what we're doing. So, um, so Landon, can you tell us what, how we're kind of, how we're going to do this very special episode today? Well, I figured it's, you know, Samhain and, ha and Halloween and, and it was time to do some like horror stories. And I figured better yet, but to review our past with RP and pick out some horror stories from our past and hopefully from others past because we would love to chat with you and do that while trying to kill each other playing among us. <laughs> so I have a confession to make. I did try my best to actually practice some among us so I wouldn't fail at being the imposter. I played no lie for like an hour and then another hour at a later time. Never got the imposter, never got the imposter. So um, I will still suck at this. So get ready for that. Oh, hey, Eric, so happy to have you here. Okay, so the way that this is going to work is you are welcome to share your role play horror stories in text and we'll read them out. But what we really would like is for you guys to join us on the voice chat. So the way that this is going to work is if you're going to join us in the voice chat, the price of admission is one role play horror story. So when you come on the voice chat, uh, you can share a horror story with us. And of course, uh, during all of this, we're going to be playing Among Us. So you guys will see just like we did it on, on Thursday. When I pull the game up, you guys will see the code on the screen. So you are welcome to join the game and play with us um i hope that all makes sense basically you, you you can still play the game without sharing a role play horror story but we would really really love for you to share a story um so does, did, did i explain that well does that all make sense to everybody i hope so <laughs> it makes sense to me okay um we already have someone in the waiting room oh good uh... <laughs> oh i see i see okay um go ahead and uh go ahead and pull her in i see her um if you change her role she should pop in yeah there we go Oh, I see another person too. Oh my God, I'm so I'm so glad you guys are excited for this. Um, before actually, so before we we have to do favorite things though, y'all. We have to do favorite yeah, things. Yeah, no, definitely. I'm just gonna be changing the roles. Okay. But, okay, so um, let's do favorite things. So, what was your favorite thing this week? Okay, so it's also a horror themed related thing. Um, I started watching Hannibal. And y'all, it's really good. And I'm not going to lie, it's a little bit too graphic for me. There are definitely some parts where I have to watch it like this. Okay, like, um, it's there's <laughs> there's some spots that are a little bit too much. Uh, but I gave it a try because I don't... Last week we talked about aunties, right? And the funny thing is, Brian Fuller, the showrunner for Hannibal, actually got attacked on Twitter by a bunch of aunties. And it was like, blew my mind that they would even go about that. Because basically he was just like, y'all losers, bye. Um, I mean, his tweet was a little more eloquent than that, obviously. But that was basically the subtext. He was like, fuck off, aunties. So it's like, yeah, cool. I like you. You're, you're a good dude. So I'm like, I feel like I should give your show a try. So I did. And I have to say, like, I really identify like hardcore with will you would. <laughs> i like i love him so much and i feel like he's like what he experiences in the show is this very like fantasy version of something that i'm like oh shit like i do that <laughs> so um so yeah naomi i'm so glad you're here for favorite things because i really wanted you to hear this naomi's a huge huge hannibal fan guys um she is Oh no. Oh, I just realized something. When we add people to the call, it's going to jack up where your where your camera shows. Um, hang on. Oh no. Yeah. Uh shoot. I don't know how to fix this. Um I don't know how okay. to fix it. Uh shoot. Let me Okay, hang on. I think uh let me just go to We add, add as we add more people though it's gonna keep um oh so there's no way to like have it focused on just me i don't see a way i don't see a way no yeah um that really sucks that does yeah okay uh well, i'm so sorry okay. it's okay maybe this is just preview for 
next time when you will start seeing my face more often. Yeah. And that way you guys got to see my Halloween costume. <laughs> and why don't we also, um, why don't you go ahead and do your favorite thing while you're still on okay. camera and then we will start adding more people and, um, and we'll switch it over to the game and unfortunately turn off the camera. Awesome. Thumper, can I kick you out so that they can see me? Cause I well, they can see, they can see you. I fixed oh, it. Really? I fixed it for oh, now. Never. Yeah. Cool. Um, so my favorite thing this week didn't come up with one. So we're coming up with one really quickly. Okay. <laughs> it's Halloween. Right? Like, that is my favorite thing. I love dressing up. I love partying. Although, obviously, with COVID this year, it's not happening. But I like to go out with friends and do just witchy stuff. There's some tarot readings that have been happening this week, a tarot class. Um, overall, just kind of that witchy ele element to my life that this week has been, has been very, very nice. And that has been my favorite thing. So... I love it. I love it. I mean, I am all here for Halloween. It's it's uh, definitely one of the favorite holidays. We've been watching all kinds of horror movies and Halloween movies. Um, it's been awesome. Okay, um, so that's that's favorite things. Let me switch over to the game and we'll get the the game started. And I'm so sorry. I feel so bad. I, I I had this all set up, but I didn't I didn't realize that Discord was going to rearrange the way the screen looked. That's so <gasps> So we'll have to we'll have to do it better. We'll have to do it better for um for next time. But in in future episodes, you know, they won't be very special episodes. So it'll be like the same group of people, right? Yeah. From the start. Exactly. So we won't have this problem. Okay. And there will be people coming in and out and stuff like that. So. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Well, so everybody say goodbye to Landon's costume. Bye. You look so good. Um, thank you, you so do much, look Landon. Incredible. Ah, thank thanks, you, Thumper. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna switch it over, and we are going to. Uh, shut off the cam and let me just move the move the chat down since it's we're doing that. It's probably for the best anyway so that you don't see my like thinking imposter face since I'm already <laughs> you know villain so clear. It probably shows on my face that when I have to be evil. Um. <laughs> oh my gosh oh my gosh well we'll figure it out we'll figure it out for a future um, episode where we don't have a group game like this where it's either like just me playing or it's like just you and me playing oh, or yeah. something like that. Um, okay. All right, guys. Um, so, Landon, while I'm getting the game kind of set up, can you explain how we want to start this? Like, if we, if one of us wants to share a story first, or since Thumper's already in here, if she wants to go first, like, th let's talk. Talk Thumper. about how do you want to do that? Ready to pull it? I think you and I could could set the tone. I think that there's also a thing that we want to call out here and be like. I think that we also want to encourage people to also tell RP horror stories about themselves. Mm -hmm. They can be the villain or the cringe in this situation. It doesn't need to be just bitching about other people. Um, you know, I think very similar to when we had our mistakes episode. Yeah. Being able to sit there and be like, no, we too were the, you know, <laughs> crazy person in the situation and the horror person. And we've grown from that. So I think that that's something too important and to acknowledge as well. Oh, sirens. A lot of crime is happening here. In <laughs> oh, because shoot. Fourth police car that has gone by my house in the last five minutes. Oh, my gosh. Well, code is up on the screen if y'all want to start getting into the game. While y'all oh. are doing that, um, I guess I'll then start because I have a story where I did the bad thing. You know, it was so funny. My after that, um, after the stream on Thursday with me attempting to play Outlast and failing hardcore at it, um, <laughs> uh, my husband was asking me if I was going to post it to YouTube if I was embarrassed. Da 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 da. And I was like, No, no, I'm not embarrassed. Like it was something where I didn't know if it was going to work out. It didn't really work out the way I wanted it to. But that is what it is. I, it's not. It's not embarrassing. Like to me, my reaction to that game was perfectly normal and legit and there was nothing wrong with it. Okay. <laughs> I had a, a, a usual reaction to how scary that game was. Anyway, so I didn't find that embarrassing. I do find this story embarrassing though, because I talk a lot about how bad doing this exact thing is. In my um, weak, weak, flimsy defense, I was going through some severe anxiety at that moment. Um, so, <laughs> Uh, this is what happened. This was on Tumblr Indies Roleplay, and it uh, wasn't, yeah. yeah, and it wasn't that long actually after this, Landon, you'll remember that, that we had our fight and falling out. So I was in a bad yeah. place, and this was the beginning of that bad place. This person I was shipping with, we were, it was all good, like we were, it was awesome. On Indies with my Haley blog, we were having a blast. And they would message me every day about how much they 
loved my role play and how much they loved me <laughs> and how much they were never going to leave me. And they, I, they hoped I was happy with their role play because they were never going to leave me. And my dumb ass believed them. My dumb <laughs> ass believed them. So I thought, oh, sweet. This person's a great role player. Maybe I'll like pull them into my groups. Like they're amazing. Well, guess what? After about not only three weeks of role play, y'all, only three weeks of role play, I got suckered in at three weeks, which is so embarrassing, but it happened. <laughs> After three weeks, they ghosted me. And all, and the only thing that I had to contact them was kick because they had left everything else. They had like closed down everything else. So all I had was their kick, y'all. After I realized I was ghosted, which was like basically a week later, a week after I hadn't heard from them, after hearing from them every single day, after a week of not hearing from them, I was like, oh, well, okay, they ghosted me. I sent them this like long, long, no. and y'all know on Kick, it looks, it looked really weird. I don't know, Kick's not still around, but it looked really weird. It was like, you had to scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll for days on Kick to, to read my whole message. I sent them this long ass thing about how horrible they were and how much, um, it, how rude it was of them to make those promises they couldn't keep, how I couldn't believe they ghosted me after everything they said, da 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 Like it was, it was epic, y'all. It was an epic fucking meltdown in their kick DMs. As far as I know, uh, they never responded to this message. And as far as I know, they never saw it. And um, oh. the reason and the reason why I know they never saw it, because a year later, they came back and messaged me. And they were like, oh, no. I'm, I'm back. And I was like, oh. And I was so embarrassed, y'all. I was so embarrassed that I never responded. <laughs> Oh no. oh no! You can't respond after that. That's the right thing to do. Well, because I was like, because I mean, well, because they messaged me. In hindsight, I don't think they ever even saw the message, and I could have just pretended and started role playing with them again. But I knew, and that was enough. So <laughs> that so there we go. First role play horror story. I was the horror. I did the thing. I freaked out after being ghosted. And maybe this is why I rail against it so much now. Uh, but yeah, so so yeah, feel free to share your your uh, stories where you were the horror. I, I hope I popped that cherry good for you guys. So you feel oh, comfortable now. <laughs> I, have, I have possibly a oh, cringier one. Okay, okay, well, I'm going to switch the game to public so we can start with the, the game as well, because it looks like most of you guys that are joining are in here. So we'll, we'll go to public to um, get the last few people while Landon shares her story. So, um, okay. Oh, this feels like confession. <laughs> <laughs> it's turned into guilty. that. I, I'm afraid I do not have one about That's myself fun. because That's I fun. have such a legendary one about other people. Um, I see. I did you, yes. Landon, did you switch Eric over so that he could get in the VC? I think he's waiting to get in the VC too. I did. I tagged him in the, I tagged him in the chat too. Okay, sweet. But Eric, you can get in the VC too. Okay. <laughs> Um, no, I, oh God. So this was, we're talking baby Landon. We're talking like 16 first RP experience. Um, and I, I had decided that there was this one girl I had a crush on and in real life. And I really wanted our characters to fall in love because our characters oh, shit. with a uh, self insert. Oh no. And, she had already had this whole plot with this other character, <laughs> and um, and I was really hurt by that. And I we kept trying to do this like thing on the side where she, you know, saw this person as just a friend. It's so cringy. Anyway, <laughs> so you try to do a cheating plot to make yourself feel better about your real life I, crush? Is that yeah, what I'm hearing? Oh, Except like they were not into the cheating plot. They didn't want to do the cheating plot. So it was like a one sided cheating plot. Oh, shit. <laughs> and I was definitely pushing for it. And they were very politely saying no. Um, and I, you know, ignored them because, but I really want our characters to fall in love because if our characters fall in love, obviously you'll fall in love with me. That's not actually how it works, guys. <laughs> Just in case you didn't know. So I ended up um, creating another character under a secondary name. So they didn't know it was me to ship with my current character to make this person jealous that her character couldn't be with my character anymore. This is obviously like 16 year old logic here because this person obviously didn't give two shits. 
Dead body. <laughs> Dead body. Also body. Well, that I'm was great. <laughs> I'm um I'm uh I'm in ghost land, so I can't really say anything, y'all. <gasps> Dead. I am dead. I am Thumper, dead. Did you kill him? Did you kill her? Oh, Kai thinks it's Thumper. He literally saw me do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's Thumper. Cool. <laughs> wow. Well, at least there's two imposters, so there's one other still. Got you guys killed four people. That yeah, was really impressive. Considering. Yeah, it was. I Holy was shit! By my own personal cringe. Thank you, Naomi, for laughing <laughs> at me. Naomi, um, are you are you in the game? If not, download this app on your phone so that you got you can um you can play with us. She has a child. I don't think this small child will let her play. Oh, with that's us. true. Christo probably won't let her. Yeah. <laughs> Although Naomi should play with us, so give the small child to your husband. <laughs> um. Bye, Thumpo. Bye. Bye. Thanks for playing. Yeah, <laughs> the, the other imposter left. Oh, of Pierce is dead. Fuck out. Cool. Oh, we won. sweet. That was way too fast. Let's um, let's go yeah, again. I suck at being the imposter. Hi, hi, Eric. You're on here. Hey. Yeah. Hi. Hey. <laughs> hi. All right, Landon, finish your story. Um, and then oh. I think Thumper's turn for for her story. It's really not an interesting story after the point that I created a secondary character to ship with myself <laughs> to make an in real life crush jealous that she couldn't ship with my character who she didn't want to ship with anyway. But like, did they ever find out? Found out and then approached me and then I tried to play it off like it was an invisible sibling, which I don't have. Like none of my siblings are P. So I was like, oh, the reason why it's the same IP address because apparently they checked my IP address. Oh my God. Is because it's my sister <laughs> i don't have a fucking sister you got I caught <laughs> you got caught <laughs> <laughs> and so then i was just like okay and i lost the character obviously but i was just like okay that's where we're at cool 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 oh my god so <sighs> hey but that is such that is such like a 16 year old logic thing um, was... be very quiet, Rohan and Karen's. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Pickles! <laughs> um, that is such, that is such a 16-year-old story, though. Like, that is, that is exactly the kind of logic that you would, as a 16-year-old, you would think, I'm being so sneaky. I'm being so cool. This will work. This will She's work, and notice... she will fall in love with me. She's gonna notice me now. Um, spoiler alert. Uh, she never did. We continued to RP together for... What this happened when I was sixteen, so until yeah. you know, you know this person. Yeah, I, yeah, uh, I figured. I, I figured. I, I figured out who it was. I'm not going to say anything, nine, of course. Till I was nineteen, so three or four more years. Yeah, like it was like contact. it was like nineteen or twenty before she kind of got out of role playing and started doing other things. So yeah, yeah this was a long ass time. I want to say she was like twenty when she finally stopped oh, RPing really and started focusing on other stuff. Yeah, she was a little older than that, but yeah. Um, I, w I think I was 20. And oh, you were 20. Like, yeah, she would have been like 23. Oh, okay. I totally but... forgot. For some reason, I always was thinking she was your same age. I forgot that she was not. That's because <laughs> she's wonderful. <laughs> Hi, if you're listening, you know who you are. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> someone else I... take the reins. Tell okay. me a horror story that isn't my own cringe. Thumper, Thumper, go with your story. You said you thought of a good one. All right, so... This story is, well, I have two. So you get to choose between which horror story you want to hear. They, these both happened within the same. Oh, we got to pause. We got to discuss. Uh oh, uh oh. Yeah, we do. Where? So I saw, I saw, um, yellow hanging out around Vince. Um. All right, red was with me. Do we have one or two imposters? Two. Two. Red was with me in electric. Oh, okay. Yeah. You saw who died, right? You died. You, well, you, died. you yeah. did. Yeah, yeah. Just, just, just so that way it's not like, hey, Thumper's rather silent. Kai, like, why do you want to skip so hard, Kai? <sighs> then vote yellow or skip. I'm voting yellow. I think it's. I think yellow is one of the imposters. They was acting oh. sus, stalking around event. <clears throat> I haven't been watching. Right, I'll, I'll trust you on this. <laughs> I, mean, what are we voting for? I think I personally think mochi because 
they just Aaron. walked all the way around the table as I was watching them, and it looked like they were coming at me. So who is who is yellow? Is yellow somebody? Is yellow in in the stream? What's yellow's name? I, Jada Pow. Jadia Pow or Jadia Pow? Yeah, I don't All right. know. I think I can actually finish a task before they kill me. <laughs> okay, keep going, Thumper, with your story. All right, so I have two stories. Both of these happened within the same group. One of them was mainly a horror story in like our side chat outside of the group, and one of them was a horror story within the role play, just like a massive headache for the entire gang that was trying to cope with this character which would which would we like more i think i may have told the ooc story in like a side chat but never on the stream oh um what i w i guess you can tell i mean we could hear both i don't see why not we have time yeah all right so this uh the first one happened chronologically first so i'll start with that with it oh 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 yellow called a meeting red died or left. Red, no? Red guy? Damn it. That There's was an X over the name, really but then they just messaged. Or was Honestly, that I was saying that you're acting sus, Karen. I was doing tasks at the console. You were staring at I, me while I did tasks. Yeah, I was watching to see if the task bar would go up. It did, did it not? It <laughs> yeah, yeah, Red's dead. Yeah, Red. Red, sus of black. <laughs> okay, yellow. That's a little sus. Uh huh. Trying to call out. Trying to call. I think out maybe the self. Yeah. Maybe it's self-report <laughs> with yellow. Trying to call. Trying to call out the dead person. Okay, that's a little sus in itself. Yeah, I think maybe they self-reporting. Uh, they pushed the button on actually. So. Oh, they yeah, pushed the button. Oh, oh my god. They oh. could. They could be getting rid of the of a body though as well. Somebody could have been coming up on them. Oh. So well, it's seven, so we skip on seven anyway. Yeah. I guess there's really... Okay, I don't really know. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I third impostered a lot last night when I was playing with my friends. So. Oh, God. <laughs> You do seem like the type pickles. <laughs> I, 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 I kind of I am. I can be pretty gullible sometimes. The advantage. Oh, of... I meant more of like the like purposely third imposter. Oh, that too. <laughs> I love trolling. Just to troll. I... Oh, absolutely. Uh, just last night, I was saying how bad Deku was as an anime protag. And <laughs> just the mess of my friends. Oh, rude! <laughs> very, very next round, I get killed in front of everyone, and they're just like, oh, "I don't know." You deserved not, it. I not, did. Not to I roast totally yellow. did. Not to roast yellow, but like sitting there and being like, "You can vote me out." Um, yeah, that's kind of suspicious. I didn't say it. I'm like, yeah. that's what the imposter would say. Okay, anyway, Thumper, Thumper, go ahead. Yes, okay, so this was in a group role play for a piece of media where um, it's pretty heavy in terms of adult elements. However, within the server, there was no um, smut allowed. If, you, if that happened in the DMs, they didn't care. It just couldn't happen within the server, which was, I think, a very good move for how big the server was. So basically, um, they, didn't, they didn't want to play police to that stuff, so they told you guys take it to the DMs if it got like that. Yeah, it's like, you can do whatever the hell you want in the DMs for that kind of stuff, but, like, they were pretty cautious of the content that they allowed because it was such a big server yeah. that they got more attention from, like, the Discord police. Yeah. And so they were very conscious of those rules, and which was fine. Anyway, this person got in my DMs because in our little chunk of the server, we were we were having a fairly good time. And... I was playing a much more stable version of Joy, which y'all will know. Oh, yeah. Uh, Landon and Karen. But for everybody who doesn't know, she was a very young, very emotionally disturbed and traumatized girl that <gasps> had um, several, several foibles of personality, especially regarding oh. um, men. <laughs> um, and also the perception of being offended. But anyway, her face character is 
Diane Guerrero, who is a very beautiful woman. Oh, I love her. And therefore, <laughs> she got some attention within the server from several quarters. But this was the worst one, where the person uh, messaged, messaged me about their character that they were trying to find a girl for. And uh, everything else in this little blurb, this uh, ye old Tinder profile, uh, <laughs> was fine. Except for the goals in life which were as follows get a wife lose his virginity and have sex with a good looking girl oh. become a prominent and well known lord hopefully become in charge of the entire country in this order in this order okay <laughs> and i'm and he's 25 and like a well-known lord in like a medieval era which is like at, at this point oh, you just get chucked in a brothel at that point oh my word like, but i pointed out that that was odd to still have that as a goal for this era in particular where that is like his main goal is to do that not like you know find a really good wife and cherish her and that kind of thing it's like no he really specifically wants to bang including in his tinder profile fun fact he has a big dick hit me up i'm like okay uh, well of course is... he does because it's a role play character right it, like this is a role play thing i don't know if you think that does anything for me personally but like this is words <laughs> why are you in that corner uh i was um, doing a task excuse me uh in that corner <laughs> uh yeah okay sure um, you have to do the flippy thing anyway. where you do the little switch to the side oh i see okay so, um, sorry, Thumper, I didn't mean to cut you off. <laughs> now I'm, I'm looking at the DMs right now because I had to save them, of course, because it was so dreadful. Oh, Man, word. We are just dumb dying. This is the Landon. So, what, right Landon, now. is this you? Is is it you or is it Kai? It's uh, it's Cyan. Um, I watched it happen. That's what I'm typing now. But Cyan's dead. Oh, it's the other one. I meant. It's Kai. Mm -hmm. So, wait, is it is it? Please. Hmm. Do I do that I trust do I trust sucks. Landon or not trust Landon? I don't you know. Trust me. I... Girl, I know you. That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> I literally saw it. I went to go back to report the body. He self-reported. I'm this is okay. This is Am I? Okay. I'm gonna acknowledge Kai that I'm so sorry because I know you're listening. And this is incredibly unfair that I can come talk to Karen. <laughs> Kai, get in the VC. You were here last time. Come come hang out with us. A uh, link to the Discord is down below the Twitch. Okay. Landon, I'm trusting you. I'm trusting you, girl. I'm trusting you. Don't really? make me don't make me stupid. Yes, thank you. Love <laughs> I was so yeah, that was hilarious. Okay, here we go, guys. Here we go. I'm so hurt. <laughs> <laughs> she has every reason, okay? Because I was thinking it too. <laughs> no reason. None of you have no any reason to not trust me. I'm wonderful. <laughs> I love you, bud. Oh, thank you so much, Naomi. That made everything better. So, okay. Anyway, sorry. so keep yes, going. Keep yeah. Going. Uh, this is a hard. It's a hard game to do stories over a little bit. Um, Oops. That's the fun in it. That's. <laughs> but um, yeah, I was like, apparently he had very strict parents and can't bed with anyone but his wife. And I'm like, well, he's the lord now. He's in charge. He doesn't have to follow their rules. So this whole time, you're basically like poking holes in his plot. Like, my dude, your plot doesn't make any sense. Therefore, I am not interested in you. I'm so sorry. Is that the also, vibe I'm getting? Like, then he decided to get weird um like quote and this is a direct quote i'm reading it all her mouth how about that because okay. i had said <gasps> that my character was not about to be birth and no bastards oh shoot okay i said you have to separate character from writer it's weird i'm not i'm not my character then let me rephrase i'll pull out of your character and gift it to her mouth better and I'm oh like, my god ah! <laughs> i was dying fam <laughs> and 
and I was like, did you read her history? Because, like, while I was vague about it due to server rules, it's like that specific act has some very specific hang-ups for her. And was that was that obvious in the subtext? I mean, I've seen Joy, so I kind of know what you mean, but do you think that was obvious in the subtext of your bio? I then directly told him, and he said, how about a facial instead? <gasps> so he was... Some people really no. just in role play for the smut, and that's like how it is. Like, well, that's <laughs> like, it's like this was a role play specifically where you weren't supposed to do that. Right. So, so that's kind of weird. Like, why'd you join that one when there's so many others out there? <laughs> yeah. And then he gave me this particular question, which um, made me kind of want to uh, like self destruct, like specifically find him and explode. Just so that way I'd, I'd take him out with me. Would you rather have your character eat shit for the rest of her life every day or suck my character off? Uh, oh, God. Uh, this, why? I don't why? understand. <laughs> and so I gave him, and I think this was phenomenally nice of me, a real come to God talk about <laughs> being oh, focused perfect. on... Perfect other people and yeah thumper keep getting killed oh my god thumper i'm Andrew. telling the story that's why <laughs> so i was like you know you have to focus on making your character interesting if you want any kind of relationship or shipping or things to happen it's not about which face character you find out it's about like would your characters even work together because i like i took a section from his character's profile and i'm like he hates, like, three of the top five things that my character is about, namely emotional, irrational, and um, dramatic. You, you say that you hate these things, and yet here you are. So I thought that was going to go well. And then apparently he was creeping on other people in the server, so he got banned. But, um, yeah, that was my horror story where he was just awful in my DMs. That's so weird. It's that's so weird to join a role play that's like specifically supposed to be safe for work and then um and then basically use it to to troll for not safe for work role play. So weird. <clears throat> Weirdly a lot of people did that and I know that like the media that it was based off of was did have a lot of smut in it. But like it was in the rules of the server to not do that stuff. And yet here they were being mm -hmm. nasty so yeah that was a true <clears throat> horror story and i hated it a lot <laughs> sounds really awful yeah because that's not what you expect right in that kind of role play i was kind of surprised and like i have a feeling that he may not have act like it was an over 18 server just to keep things safer for everybody but i have a feeling that he was not in fact 18. oh i see oh. Well, that kind of makes it make sense. Which you know what? What would, would be the context in which that would make sense? You know what? I think the two imposters are Landon and Pickles. I'm just no. Gonna... I think it's Pickle. I think it's Pickles, though. No, sure. it, it. I can. I can assure you, it is not me. Oh, it's, no, act, it's actually weird. a common tactic that my group uses to to suss out the uh, the two imposters. Uh -huh. That was really just like a lot, though, Pickles. <laughs> Yeah, but you were sitting there being real quiet, and then you had a little comment at the end. You know, a little comment at the end that you were going to skip. There was no proof. Okay. I'm just I saying. There was no proof. All right. O2 is going down, which means they oh, know shit. how to. Oh, it. shit. Yeah, no. It's because I just saw someone vent. Oh. Oh. Who? It's well, I guess yellow. you can't say it yet. You can't call an emergency <laughs> meeting during, oh, during... Uh, crisis. Okay. So. Oh, I'll God. I'm going the wrong sure. way. I'm going the wrong way. All right. Oh, Karen, one. Okay. I just, I, I okay. Um, <sighs> no. Oh, and this is gonna spoil it, isn't it? Yellow vented, <laughs> but yellow called the meeting. <sighs> called O2. Oh, okay. Well, there's, there's two of them. So, I mean, pickles could still be it, and also yellow. Well, yellow, I mean, pickles wouldn't call out yellow. It is unusual I, I, for I, an I already imposter called them out too. as well, too, so... Yes. Well, they now, want, now, they now everyone's going to think it's me again. 
Yeah, well, I do. <laughs> <laughs> well, Thumper, thank you so much for sharing your um, your role play horror story. Uh, I, I I would love for you to share the other one, but I think, um, you know. We should mix it up. Yeah, let's mix it up. So Pickles, do why don't you share um, a story that you have? And remember, no names, right? We're not naming any names. Yeah, uh, this is actually going to be a story from my days as a combat role player. It was actually one of the last times that I combat role played, and it really submitted the idea that it's just time to leave. Someone in died. which oh. uh, I can, no, no one's I in electrical die. besides me. But oh. uh, and the ghosts. Yeah, Never mind. but <laughs> uh, these two, we there was this server I was a part of where these two guys were actually really. <laughs> we're supposed to be the best on the server and so me and my partner called him out we we're like okay now is a, okay let's actually submit ourselves as as a legitimate threat against these guys and there was a couple red flags right off the bat because these guys were basically also they were supposed to be the best but they were also the uh, fix oxygen. yeah I'm on it right now I'm trying to get there Nah, it's not gonna happen. No, they they got us. Yep. It was Mochi! Mochi! Uh... Mochi, you said you were bad at this game, you little liar! <laughs> <laughs> but, they were supposed to- their, their group was like the- was like the guys on the server. They- they pretty much ran it even though not- even though they weren't on staff. They- it, their word was basically law. They- they didn't take any other styles of combat into consideration. They didn't look at different ways that people would do things. It was their way or the highway. So that was the first big red flag. And, but we were like, all right, if we're going to make a name for ourselves, though, we need to, we need to combat these guys. Didn't, so did the best RP, did the, did not the best RP you're there just first post come right out and be like i killed god what yeah <laughs> I, yeah that was my reaction just like what congratulations yeah. uh yeah congrats uh now that you killed god what is there left for you <laughs> it's such an every jrpg pro tag I mean, yeah, pretty it's... much. And, and in combat RP, so for those that, that don't know, that's basically what combat roleplay is. It's a bunch of people who wish they were the main character of an anime. Um, yeah. And there's yeah, a lot of that in there. Actually. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> and this guy was definitely no exception. And because his partner was literally a walking gun. And so that was another red flag is just like, Oh, so this guy here is going to be is basically something that just can't exist. And it's just like, are you kidding me? So did did so they end up getting like removed from the game for trying to be too OP and from the server because oh we God. started calling them out on their BS. My god. So, it, it was absolutely ridiculous. Oh no, Kai! Hey. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was weird. Uh, Blue's the one that called it and they're saying where. Uh, that's uh, Both oh, Blues! <laughs> uh, okay, bye Blueberry. See you later. I think they, they must have did what I did uh. and accidentally self-reported. <laughs> oh. <sighs> That okay, but did you see Dog. the sick burn I left you in the chat, Karen? The what? The sick burn I left you in the chat. In in which chat? In the cast members chat? <laughs> uh yeah. Um, let me go look at it. <laughs> I need it. No, I I guess they I'm not themselves. No, I didn't see it. I I'm not paying attention. I guess. I said, uh, you said, no, hey, you did better than the imposter than I did, and I said, whispers, it's not that hard. Oh, I saw you. Okay, yeah, I did see that. I was, I was, I had blocked it from my memory already. Well, they were not the imposter, so that was weird. Yeah, but why'd they say so... where? Why'd they say where if they, are they yeah, helping that... the imposter? 
could be third imposturing, yeah. Yeah, I don't understand. <laughs> Sorry. But, uh, but yeah. So before they got us banned from the server, we... We actually were trying to be very friendly. We... Because we, we wanted to... Oh, shit. Tell people what our, uh, ideas were and why we RP the way we do, like, using the use of science to really hit home some of our powers and techniques to actually, to actually give it some more legitimacy. Three people just left. Holy crap. I wonder why. It's fine. So, okay, and they just didn't want to hear it. And they're just like, no, no, you're just bad. You're just bad. Uh, look at what we, look at what we're doing. This is how you do it. If you, why, why are you being little bitches? Blah 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 blah. And it's just like. Well, why were you being just... such a little bitch? God. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh oh, dead body. Oh, it was people who like it was like Kai and everyone who left us too. Yeah, why did Kai leave? <clears throat> That's all I know. Thumper did reactor with me, so. That seems uh, act Actually, I did it. My hand was on the scanner. Uh, oh, I thought it was Thumper. Nope. Oh. Admin, no one was around. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Uh, shoot. Well, I don't know. I have no idea. Yeah, no, I... I'm voting, yeah, I'm voting Landon because I'm feeling it. I hate you, you so you're much. <laughs> it. I'm just feeling it. Just I have no evidence. I will... I mean... Thumper, you're very quiet. What's going on? <laughs> I just talked so much. I wasn't <clears throat> listening to the story. It was a little ballad of Eduardo, and I was feeling it. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, Karen, but that's pretty sus. Like, well, you know what? I'm streaming, so I have the confidence. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not watching the stream, so... Well, that's good. <laughs> yeah, are, are you calling us, like, cheaters? Number, number, you... Thumper, you have a very difficult decision to make here because if you vote with Karen, I'll know that you love her more than me. Oh I shit! <laughs> yeah, she did. Oh, we're just waiting I'm on Pickles aware. to vote. I'm, I'm, Pickles, I'm, who do you know. love I more? I don't know. I'm skipping. I'm skipping. Oh, you skipped! Wow. I Pickles, you could have wow. chosen who you loved more. I don't. I can't believe you didn't do that. Thumper <laughs> did. Uh, I'm not getting in between that fight. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I know that I'm the most hated on the show. It's okay. <laughs> That's I'm not true. Hey, don't you love villains or something like that? It's true. The villains what? are always the best. It's oh, absolutely. I play most of the time. I'm playing like a villain or a anti-hero. To be yeah. perfectly honest, let us, I understand. Let us be perfectly honest with this position, though. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> like, I love being able to act like a victim. Lan and Boo Who, I'm the villain. Wah. Yes. Let me bitch about it. There okay. is, um, there's a body in security. Okay, I think it's Karen. <laughs> yeah. No, um, it's actually, I think it's Thumper because she's being very quiet. <clears throat> Could very well be. Okay, so what Dang, are we doing? What I'm are we doing? I'm trying to be a good person. Thumper is being very quiet. You know what? Okay, we we all have to vote. We can't skip this time. We have to actually pick no. somebody. There's only four yeah, of us. No. It's just the four of us in, that are in the VC. Are there so, two? Oh, is it just the? Wait, it's so just us four. four. VC people. Um, yeah. Well, one, one of us is a murderer. It's either Pickles or Thumper. Karen, I believe it's not you. Really? No, okay. I. Okay, not. never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 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 kind of. I, I think I'm gonna go with, with Landon on this one. Yeah, that sounds You've about been right. You've been finding a lot. I only found the one. <laughs> this is the uh, first time I've reported. I'm I'm voting uh, Thumper <clears throat> this time. We'll see. I'm voting Pickles. Uh, Are we all voting one of each? Oh God. I think so. <laughs> I think so. Whoever's being Thumper. the imposter this time is doing a really good job. <laughs> Naomi, you're watching oh, the vod. <laughs> I mean, Karen, thank you, Naomi, for being on my side. I know that you have my back. I appreciate. You're watching it. the actual video oh, footage. Come on, Thumper. Y'all are making me, me cheer. Yeah, Karen. cheers, Thumper. Actually, Thumper is actually being quiet right now and trying to decide because wanna... she wants to know who she thinks she can beat and kill. Um, because she's the imposter. <laughs> I don't want to be the one that gets people out. out. Let's it's just fine, put it this way. Me, I'll, be, we, I'll be the martyr. We vote, out a we vote out a crewmate. 
then they can just call O whoever it is yeah. can call O2 and win. Oh, well, that's kind of cheating. Uh, when I'm a ghost, I don't I don't say, I don't reveal. When I'm a ghost, I don't reveal because I think that's cheating. Oh, that is cheating. But vote me out so I can do tasks faster. I have like two tasks left. Okay. <laughs> Look at us. Oh. Look at us. <laughs> I have two tasks as well. Y'all, we're crazy. <laughs> I mean, we can just stick in a group and Shit. Right. Get Mexican and standoff win, and just win by tasks. Okay. Okay, that sounds like someone who wants to kill us all in a stack. It does. Right? It really does. I mean, not really. We can just all stand back and... Karen, what you doing? I'm doing the electrical oh, task. Oh, okay. Going to security. Yeah. And I'm, now I'm going to the cafeteria. <laughs> okay, all I guess right, we're that's, yeah. groups. that's fine. No, that's silly. I'm, I'm sticking with Karen, because that just kind of proved that she is, in fact... Thumper, where you at? You gonna kill me? I'm so, here. like, you're you know, convinced? You're convinced? Anyone is. I'm um, security. I mean, if you want, if you want to, if you want, I do have a visual task. If you want to, uh, here we go. Confirm with me. Here we go. Watch. All right. it, yep. Nope. That. That's a visual. <laughs> yep. It sure is. All right. <clears throat> want to see my? Want to <clears throat> come see my visual then? Yeah. All right. I've come. I'll follow you. Alrighty. Doing fuel. This it's... is the most tedious task. I'm not gonna lie. The fuel one. Yes. Yeah, it's annoying. You just hold the button. And then you have to like run back to it. So if you're not going like that, thirty thousand miles an hour. You watching? I'm watching. I'm loving my hat. And I'm seeing I'm seeing the task bar go up, and it looks like yeah. I mean, it's does the like little screen shake, right? That's what it does. Yeah, the yeah you can see the weapons right there firing as you do that task. So all I really saw was the screen shaking, but um, oh. but I did, but it 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 did do that. I don't play this game enough to like know all the little all the little details really. Uh, I play at least once a week. <laughs> oh well, there you go. Yeah. Oh, only <laughs> once a week. I'm I'm yeah I'm kind of a I'm kind of a casual scrub so. This is my, I'm bored, what am I going to do? It's potato chips, right? It is potato chips. Okay, I only have one more task. All right. Go do it, go do it. I got, I'm going, I'm I got going. two more tasks, but they're, they're both two-parters. No, it's done, so like. It's Thumper, y'all, it's Thumper. Is okay, it? I did all my tasks. Is it, yeah. Look, so it's you, so I was right originally? All right. <clears throat> this discrimination. Just because I was in you know what? earlier, now you've decided that I'm. It's um... Thumper. It's Thumper. I'm voting for Thumper. That's what this is. All right. Yeah. No, because because no, Landon's he, dead. Landon's dead. So it's definitely Thumper. And I had and I had a suspicion when the tone of your voice, Landon. And so oh, no. you're, I didn't find your body, but oh, you're dead. The old voice trick. Oh, oh yeah, your voice. <laughs> Bye, Thumper. It was uh, nice yeah. knowing you. You did a very so good close. job. You did a very I was good job. So hard to find you guys. You really <laughs> were. I just killed one of you. You really oh, were. No, but then, but then. <laughs> Bye, Thumper. Yeah, Bye. 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 I keep abandoned by my pair. Go away. Uh, Get out. Just, just vote. <laughs> <laughs> she vote for herself. <laughs> okay, yeah. Thumper. Thumper, you, uh, you had a second story. Um, why don't you go ahead and share that before you do? Real quick, though, I just want to confirm: is there any? Excuse me. Is there anybody in the text chat that has a role play horror story? If if you don't want to join the voice chat, which I understand, if you don't want to, you are welcome to type it out. And um, and we'll we'll do a little reading of it, okay? And so think about that for you guys in the chat while Thumper is telling her a, um, additional story. Okay, go ahead, Thumper. So my my additional story is not nearly as juicy as my first one. This one is more is less of like don't be a freaking creep <laughs> in DMs. This one is more don't actively make choices in role play that make people not want to role play with you and then get upset when people don't want to role play with you oh okay which um mainly was in this same area of the role play server our main guy in, in charge of the country 
had a twin sister that went missing when the whole family just kind of got absolutely shrecked by a number of misfortunes. Like, the main guy in charge of the country, he was stuck in the desert for months and got just, like, whole body sunburned. He was... He was a crispy tater tot when he came in. Oh he boy. came back to the city. <clears throat> he was a little crunchy. Um, so she was somebody that we wanted to get filled because we kind of wanted more people in the ruling family just in case people left the server. We wouldn't be like, uh, who's in charge of the country now? Oh, so we yeah. wanted to get some more people in there. It was a bit of a cursed family in terms of the server. Um... <clears throat> There so... always is when you have that type of game, right? There's, like, the one kind of group that people just don't apply for, but you really need them, but people refuse to apply for them. <laughs> it was, however, a role that people, um... Like, generally, you had to have been in the server for a while in order to be able to apply for this role, because it's like, you are in charge of the country. Mm. You are... you are Your choices affect a lot of people, so we wanted people that, like were at least vetted a mm -hmm. little bit. Yeah, So understood. we got this person who who applied for the twin sister role, and we looked at her application. We had to make a couple tweaks, because it's like, mm, you were underage when that happened, and we can't allow, like, underage characters to do that in the server, so just tweak that a little bit, like, little things. But we were like, okay, so we have his twin sister. He's now not alone in this life. 10 out of 10. And then she starts role-playing, and she makes her intro, and oh dear. <clears throat> it was, like, the writing quality was on par with the um, super edgy, angsty stuff that I was writing in middle school, where, like, everybody mm -hmm. was against the main character, and nobody liked her, so abused, hashtag saddest 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 uh yeah i'm dead again <laughs> i just keep dying <laughs> <laughs> always when i'm telling my stories you all just right. got distracted. it's okay <laughs> it's <laughs> all right i'm dead now so i can i can tell more stories I'm um okay and she included that she was in love with her twin brother okay and we were like, oh, okay, different take on it. And this element is not absent in the piece of media with which the server was based off of. But we wanted to make it clear that, one, this was not going to be socially acceptable to the rest of the country, mm -hmm. like the rest of the characters. Like, they weren't going to be, like, totes chill with that. Well, it's not in, it's not in the source material either. Like, it's not, it, they're not, people aren't chill with it in the source material. Not really. Correct. Yeah. But, um, and also we just wanted, like, the guy in charge of the country just wanted to make it clear that, like, it wasn't going to happen. Mm -hmm. And she didn't, she seemed to think that she could convince him. Okay. And we just thought, like, oh, that, um... It was it was a bit uncomfortable. So we had a whole group launch a rescue mission to try and get her back to the main country out of enemy captor hands, yada yada yada. And they decided to take a tack with it where my character, the Joy analog, would have things in common with her, uh, like shared trauma, everybody's favorite. Yay. So I thought this will be great because there's no therapy in this universe. We're just going to have some old fashioned revenge. Everybody loves that. And we I had spoken with her about it before. And we were like, yeah, you know, it's going to give her some catharsis. It's going to like bond them closer as friends and it'll be fine. And I thought, okay, cool, great. So we do it. So she kills the guy who assaulted her. And then oh, at oh no, the Landon. palace, when they got there, oh, we're dead together now. I've been dead for a while. Um, no one noticed. It's fine. <laughs> okay, keep going, Thumper. I'm just dumb. Don't worry. Also, keep... Pickles, are you not in the game? 
Oh, he's not. I'm not. No, I'm not Broth. That's oh. my usual game name. Oh, okay, okay. <clears throat> nah, bra is good, bra. <laughs> <laughs> okay, keep going, Thumper. Um, so when she got to the, like, the main area where we're finally meeting up with her twin brother, who's, of course, very delighted to see his sister, his only living sibling left out of, like, seven, he was happy to see her, but not, like, um overly affectionate so like she decided to be like you know oh i'm deciding to become psychotic now okay so like threatening guards with like a like pulling the knife off of the guy's belt and threatening the guard and just going absolutely nuts and we're and we all are kind of just staring at the screen like you were supposed to be, like, the backup in case the main guy in charge of the country left the server. Bye, Kai. And now you've made I've her crazy. <laughs> Great. So, so basically, they're setting up their characters so that they can't do the thing that is really necessary for the story to keep going. So it's like, okay, you have that, that moment of mod panic where you realize the roleplay might all fall apart. I've been there. <laughs> uh, yeah, that wasn't on our list, talk about thank it. you <laughs> yeah oh yeah i could tell that story um i super overestimated what i could handle in terms of a group and i took oh. on a leadership role and uh it turns out that it really was not leadership material at all i did not have good ideas because i'd sabotage all of my ideas and wasn't even also that. everybody else's <laughs> that wasn't even what landon was referring was to but oh my god <laughs> No, but that is that is a good example. That is a good example of um of something that's like often you don't know your limits until they're like smacking you in the face, right? <clears throat> Holy crap, whoever's imposter is doing a good damn job. It's not right? <laughs> it, no, it, it's not me. Cyan? Not why why cyan I? Not... Did anybody watch them? There was like O2? four there was four of us in O2. Oh. <laughs> so I don't Jesus. I have no idea. So I have no idea. Jesus. Like physically on Jesus. Cyan chased me on Jesus. It's like like okay. I swear on the Bible. Like on Jesus this happened. But it does just sound like they were crawling around on Jesus like weevils. I, I personally think it was in fact just physically on Jesus. <laughs> yep, like Whoa. when SpongeBob and Patrick were on David Hasselhoff. Exactly. <laughs> Same exact thing, except. <laughs> just right. uh, so, who are we voting for here? Uh, I voted. I voted for. Um, I voted for Mochi. I'm. I'm trusting. I'm trusting. I. I played with us last time. Um, All right. Let, let's see if they're worth the trust. <laughs> yep, they uh, were. Uh, oh, um... bye, Mochi. <laughs> yeah, they killed me immediately. <laughs> Mochi, you're pretty good at being the imposter for someone who has not played this game before. Also, can yeah. we make them the villain, please, then? Because I've not gotten an imposter yet, and <laughs> they've gotten it, like, three times. They have. I, I'm, I personally suck as imposter, so I'm okay with being permaculture. I love being imposter. <laughs> <laughs> okay, did everyone make it in this time? Are we uh, good? Yes. Can We should change at some point the vision, because I'm picky. The vision? Yeah, you can change how much players can see versus how much the imposter can see. Oh, wait, yeah. what do you want? Uh, it's just it... a little less being able to see so that... A little less... A, we've got imposter uh, imposters at 1.5 and crewmates at 1. Yeah. Uh, that... One thing that I actually suggest is is turning off visual tasks because it, act because it actually gives... It makes it harder. Yeah, it gives imposters more of a oh, chance. Sure, yeah, let's turn off visual tasks. But I've already got the imposter set at a little bit more distance. It's there at 1.5. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no. Okay. No, I think that with the, with the normal distance, kill cooldown at 30 seconds is actually good. good. Okay, okay, sweet. All right, wow, party we actually hat. have. To, I, I never even had to switch it to public. Okay, let's go. Put on party hat. Oh, gosh, well, it's because a lot of people probably stayed from last game. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And I I did share it on the nerd, so. Oh, sweet. So probably oh. some of those people are from the Nerdalius. Okay. 
Um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> Thumper, you say that, and it's so it's so funny um, talking about uh, about that experience in um, in Atlantis. But I have done like the exact same thing where I've thought something was going to be cool and chill, and then I started role playing it, and I was like, this is super freaking uncomfortable, and I actually can't stand it. You want to hear like the funniest one? There, and this is also the most recent one. Um, feet. Apparently, I can't I can't handle that even in text. Really, really, and it and, and it's from you know the thread because it was with you, <laughs> and it would it may I mean we still finished it because like I'm a trooper, but um oh my god that was the most uncomfortable I remember being in role play in years. I was a total fail. Like I was I mean my mind was not there, not there at all. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. I mean, I didn't tell you to stop, so that's on me. Um, <laughs> because I, I was like, I'm not going to let this beat me. This is so stupid. I'm not going to let this beat me. Um, so, I, you know, I did it. Uh, but in, in real life, in real life, I am incredibly, ridiculously, stupidly ticklish, like to an annoying extent. And, um, and the feet are the worst. So, you know, that's what that was about. <laughs> sorry, cat's going crazy. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> I don't know uh, if you heard the crash bang. I did. I, I was wondering what that was about. All right. Imposter left, so oh. I don't know what? if they're dead or not, but they did leave. Oh, okay. So, do, Pickles, did you actually die? Yep. Okay. Yeah. No, Dora, I can say that Dora did kill me. They're, they're, they're kind of, it looks like they're game throwing. I guess they just throwing. don't want to be imposter. <laughs> yeah, it looks like they're game throwing. Oh, okay. So. Well, I guess we'll vote for them so they can throw it. I don't want to kill birthday boy girl, so vote me out. Okay, Tora. <laughs> it's, it's Black Eyes Party, I guess. I put on okay. a hat. Oh, yeah, there's I'm, Red Eye oh, and there's Black was, Eye. Uh, Naomi, it was Sherlock. Of, of course. course. <laughs> Naomi, do you have a role play horror story that you want to share? I've been here the whole time. I feel like you should share one, even though I know you can't really come in voice. Um, Varen's original okay here's one Varen's original RP comes to mind the way they ended in Y was shocking you can tell that story if you want yeah so we joined a role play and that role play was like super clicky um, I really struggled to get plots with people and so I was like not having a good time but I really liked my ship with Naomi so we decided to make uh, a role play in the same genre and basically they found it and messaged me and insisted I credited them with some of the ideas. And I was like, okay, sure, whatever. Y'all know, like, I don't care about stealing ideas. It was not a copy of their role play. It just had some similarities, right? And and I personally don't find that offensive, but a lot of people do, whatever. That's a whole, I've made a video on it. You can go find that video on my channel. Um, so that was a thing. I credited them. And then as soon as I did, they were like, actually, we changed our mind. That's not good enough. And, um, and now you're going to get kicked out of the role play. And we really want you to delete your role play. I didn't delete my role play because they already kicked me out. So there was no reason, you know, for me to do that. Um, but they did kick us out of the role play <laughs> for opening that's a similar so one. It, it was pretty ridiculous. Um, it's one of those things, you know, like a lot of people in role play, I think, get really um, into their ideas, right? And they feel like really proud of their ideas. So when they see someone else doing something similar, it's like it's like an attack on their creativity, right? And I definitely feel like that's that's what I did to them. Like they felt like I was attacking their creativity. See, I I personally don't feel that way. Like, yeah, I like having control over my characters. I make my characters for my own self. I don't want someone else using using that why exact same character. Why do both red and black both think you're imposter? Yeah, like why? Them? I don't know. <laughs> well, I trust I trusted red last time, and they were right. So red wasn't right last time. Like, yeah. The person said, oh, "Okay, Karen, I'm voting you." Okay. <laughs> Oof. I feel like um. I got caught. Yeah, we did work really hard on that lore, but a lot of it we ended up reusing for Atlantis, funny enough. Um, so a lot of that lore that was really good. Oh, sweet. We win. Um, <laughs> a lot of that lore that we ended up reusing for Atlantis. So it was not a waste at all. Um, and it, as y'all know that have role played with me for a while, I will reuse certain concepts and things over and over. So um, even though that role play didn't last very long, um, it was not it was not a waste at all. <clears throat> Like if someone wanted to use like my like the race that I created genies, yeah, I'd be oh I'd be I'd be like oh oh for that. I'd be like yeah, dude, here's the lure, here's the things that I can that I did with it, and just go nuts with it. Yeah, because 
it's honest it's honestly a lot of fun i think it, it kind of it, cracks me up because a lot of role play why are there like three people with is like i the same person three times i don't understand no a lot of people like to do eyes and ones because i think either they can continuously change it and never like be like have somebody recognize them from like briefing somewhere oh or just, i see it makes it really freaking hard to do voice chat discussions like me saw who vent i see what you're saying i um, love that <clears throat> that's first the word i was looking for i see okay yeah Mine's and on first and pickles TikTok. pickles i kind of agree with you because a lot of role play like i got started in role play with like fan uh like fandom role plays so it's been i've always done stuff that's derivative even once i started like making my own worlds and stuff they're all like inspired by stuff and derivative of stuff so like i mean to me i'm like whatever like i really don't care it's and it's it's if anything it's flattering so um so yeah exactly. it's just one of those like, things where like my brain works oh no landon that was quick. Like I was stupid. I deserved it. Oh no. <laughs> oh, and then they left. Oh. They reported uh, and then left. Well, that's great. <clears throat> Were they the imposter that killed you? That's cheating, Thumper. But they left. No, they weren't. <laughs> <laughs> Awkward. Well, I without then... that without that, there's no Evident yeah, we have to for skip. Anybody, so. Yeah. Uh, okay. You're gonna just skip on me. You're we not, have you're not to. The, I'm, I'm we have no information. The person that reported left. What do you want us to do? <clears throat> yeah, figure it out. Trial by jury. I don't know. <laughs> you know what? My gut only ever tells me it's you, and you're dead. So there's nothing I can do. <laughs> but, but yeah, back to the back to the discussion. It's like if, I, like, I used to RP things like Bleach all the time, so... So, like, you're you're copying, in a yeah. sense, the creator of Bleach, yeah, and and that's why exactly. I really struggle with it. But I think, like, in a lot of ways, I don't know, my I feel like my brain is wired differently in a lot of ways, and this is one of those things that I've just, like, I just, I've never really felt it, so I, like, I can only observe it in others, <laughs> you know? Um, yeah. So it's funny that way. All right, who has a who has another um, horror story that we can share? Do we want to talk about? Um, I'm trying to figure out a code a code word. Uh, that one guy. Yeah, Peter? yeah, yes, <laughs> Peter. Peter. Yeah, yeah, sure, Peter. Yes, um, please. Yeah, let's call him Peter. Okay. Yeah, let's share that story. Um, Landon, I, I, I've talked a lot. So Landon, why don't you get started telling it and um, and I'll kind of jump in. And Thumper, you obviously know who we're going to talk about. So feel free to jump in too. <laughs> I, was, I was hoping and praying we would speak about this particular individual. Yes. There's two, there's two of them happening. Oh, yeah. No. Okay. Now I got the code word now. It just took a second. Yo um, no, Naomi, think about it. Peter makes sense. Anyway, um, <laughs> so there was this one particular our peer who joined our group and um, was very popular at first because yep. he was a good writer and um, and knew how to create an interesting character. Oh, we lost. Yep, they got me. And I tried <laughs> to do as ta more tasks as so fast as I could. Somewhere. God, I I is too good. And Mochi, you are too good. Stop being so good. <laughs> yeah, no, I Mochi's really yeah. good. Uh, Mochi, like, how are you so good? Come on. <laughs> like the bestest. Some kind um, of crazy Mochi's beginner's girl. luck. <clears throat> anyway, so Peter uh first was like hit with the RP. He was he was new to our her, our group, our group had been writing together for a while, so a lot of us knew each other. So when we have a new person come in, that seems to meld really great with the group. It's always an exciting time, and um, which was awesome until it stopped being awesome <laughs> because we recognized very quickly that there was a theme in which he would write all of his uh, threads about, and it was smut. And the and the theme and it didn't matter what character or what situation. Got, oh no, Landon, oh, you got disconnected. Yeah, I got disconnected. Okay, I, I switched it back to private so that you can hop okay. in the last spot. Sorry. I'll pick up the story there while you hop back oh. in. 
Um, so, so it, like rat left. So, oh, well, so, so we saw, so we started seeing this pattern where like the only thing they were truly interested in role playing was smut, which is totally fine, which is not, it's not a problem. It's just that they kept making multiple characters and we started to not be able to tell the difference between any of their characters. And then we, and then there was like a couple of situations where they got really personally offended and personally had their feelings hurt that certain people didn't want to smut certain characters with them, right? And um, and like yeah. a lot of these conversations were in the background, right? So it, some of some of you guys that know this person don't know this happened because uh, it was it's nobody's fucking business, right? And um, and it's their own their own stuff, and um, and you know we're not gonna out anybody. So we would have we had to have so many conversations with this person about like okay like I know you're you're mad about this or I know this person's mad at you but you have to understand optically this is what it looks like and it, and and you are the one that's kind of like starting these negative things and causing this and bringing this on yourself. And he never got it. It, it never clicked. I had like four, five, six conversations with this dude about how well, like- Well, point that like we all, every single mod talked to him. Yeah, every single mod talked to him and I talked to him multiple times. And it was like the same thing every single time that he was getting personally offended if people didn't want to smut with him or didn't want to smut certain characters with him. And, um, and yeah, like it, we just kept having, like, I don't like to kick people out. I mean, y'all know that I've talked about it a lot, but it just, we kept having to like, talk to him and talk to him and talk to him over and over and over um until it got to the point that he ended up leaving because he got tired of being scolded for um well, for ha for being hurt basically yeah. <laughs> it just turned into a very like he was then starting to compare himself to other players and asking why people yeah like, people that was liking him as much as other another player toward yeah towards um, the end he was like do y'all ever talk to so-and-so about their level of smut and i'm like so-and-so is not getting complaints from multiple people <laughs> and it's not yeah. your business anyway <laughs> and, it, and it would be like that like your character couldn't even turn his character down yeah he would and get so offended it's, and it's totally that's ridiculous if you are trying to rp smut that's, that's land and please vote <clears throat> Black. Yeah, I voted black. Black, 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 vented and... black vented, apparently. We're just. I, yep, I we take high and. Uh, well. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it was. Um, yeah, you couldn't turn down his Bye character black. because his character would then try to, you know, turn it around again. There was there was like literally a. <laughs> one of my one of my um characters interacted with his character and my character is sexually pr promiscuous so there was a lot of heavy duty flirting but um there even like even then it was very awkward because my character would be like no unless we're doing it the specific way and then um his character would just like keep trying yeah and i had to like talk to him out of character and even then he didn't get it it was very interesting yeah so um, the the point is the point is like from a mod perspective it's just like y'all if if the mods are constantly having to talk to you about the exact same problem over and over again like maybe you're just not a fit like he hung on way longer than i expected to for the amount of times that we talked to him about the same damn issue yeah and there was also a oh god <laughs> um there was also a sorry <laughs> it was just a big huge thing on its own mm -hmm. trying to figure out and and trying to not hurt his feelings while at the same time trying to get him to understand what was happening yep um and then the comparison yeah that was interesting oh dead body yeah, I'm dead. He, yeah, no, he He's definitely dead. at some point he he was like, well, maybe I'll quit. And we were and like, then, well, like I understand, you know, because okay. at this point we had all decided like he's clearly not a fit, like he's clearly looking for something different than what, than what we're offering in our role play, right? And so like he did threaten that, and I was like, oh, I understand. And then he didn't leave. <laughs> then he I was like, oh, okay. Oh my god. In and reactor. Left, and, and another level on top of this, and I, it's. Another level on top of this is that we had another player who was being drawn in to him so much so that their characters were interacting nonstop. Like their characters were paired up. Every all, single like, character. Oh, toxic. Yeah. yeah. 
And it was, and like, we don't even know how much they were talking out of character or anything like that, but it was like all of this other person's storylines revolved around his storylines. And so him just like yeeting it out of there really messed with her. Yep. It was really, really sad because she's an amazing writer and amazing role player. Um, yeah, but you know, sometimes you end up, sometimes you end up in the orbit of, of people who are not fully truthful with what they're looking for and why they're looking for it. Um, a ham person that promised they would never leave me and then ghosted me after three weeks of role play. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so I've been that stupid person that didn't see it too. So like, I do not blame them, you know, or think any ill of them. <clears throat> um, yeah, and I absolutely don't either. It just, <laughs> my favorite part is that he tried to give two week notice or, or four week notice. Yeah, he, he was like, like, well, I'll leave after I'll this leave one, uh, this uh, after this one event. And I'm like, you realize that event's not gonna happen for another month. And then, so you're gonna hang on for a month in a role play that you don't like? Like, that doesn't make any sense to me. It's just role play. <laughs> yeah, so that was yeah a, just that leave was... and then find something else. Yeah, like, it's fine. We will we will fix it. Like, nobody nobody oh. is required to, like, stay for, after, off, for some kind of obligation. Like, it's a role play. There are no obligations, you know? <laughs> and as a mod, it's always tricky when you have to hold someone's hand to yeah. get them to do what you want and what is yeah. necessary. Uh, and it's a learned skill. Uh, I, I personally I personally can't do that at all. I, as a mod or an admin, I will tell you where the freaking door is. And <clears throat> I know I, that can get me labeled as toxic, but I don't have freaking time in my day to hold somebody's hand and show them where the, what they need to do and where they need to go. It's like, come on. Well, we're, we're well so we have here. another horror story about that one. <laughs> well, too. we have sometimes sometimes there are certain tasks that some mods can do and certain tasks that other mods can do, yeah, right? So that's that that, that's yeah. always my advice for that situation is like, well, you know, make someone a mod that can do those things so that it's not on your plate because you can't be good at everything, right? I know I'm not. There's certain things in, in moderation that it took a lot of practice for me to be able to do, right? Yeah. And we've, I mean, we had a... Uh... We also had a situation where our entire RP was revolved around a certain plot that we had a hold that the person wasn't <clears throat> mod, and so we had to hold their hand through it. Yeah, that was really tough too. It was tough. It ended up working out okay. Like we we it did. we yeah. made compromises that so that it worked. Um, but it was that was that was a big challenge for us. A big challenge. Um, oh, oh, I found one in reactor. Did you kill it? Did you no. Put it there? You sure? I'm sure. <laughs> you're sure you're sure? Yeah. All right. Did Thumper put it there? She's being quiet again. It was, it's, um, it was Lime. Other people are talking. <laughs> She's trying not to interrupt, okay? I understand. Be nice to me. No. <laughs> I refuse. No. Being mean no. to me is sus. <laughs> <laughs> sus Isn't is that what this game funny. is about, though? Being mean to each other? <laughs> what do you mean? That's how I express love. Lime, explain, explain. What do you mean, yeah. half buddy? Uh, yeah, you see this knife in my hand? I'm stabbing you with love. <laughs> um, who is it? There's not that many of us left. It's blue. Blue already voted. Who did they blue did? Vote for? They already voted. I don't know who they voted for. I think they're just they're just joined r random. It can still be a random person who killed us. Yeah. Okay, well, I guess I'm voting blue. Um So yeah, I mean, that was a big a big challenge for us as mods, but we we made it through it and it was really um it was it it turned out to be pretty rewarding, blue you know, to get everybody Cyanus through that. Sucks. You thought Mochi was Oh sucks. no. Okay, is Mochi the imposter uh -oh. again? Is Mochi the imposter? Mochi's the imposter so no. often. Are you glitched? I'm so confused. Like, how do you get imposter every other freaking round? I don't understand, Mochi. Bro. I, I would, uh, at that point, I kind of would game throw because of how much I hate being imposter. <laughs> being imposter is not, oh my isn't, God. No, isn't not that the lights bad. again. <laughs> the lights. God damn it. Oh, the like, was a little sus at the beginning. A little bit, yeah. It's true. I, like, I can... Like, I can, I can get behind that. being imposter once oh. or twice, but no. if Karen, I'm imposter, you just ran like, away from oh, the light. <laughs> oh shit, oh shit. Karen! I'm, I'm dumb. It's what fine, the... I got it guys, don't oh, worry about thanks. it. thanks, I'll go get the other one. <laughs> yeah. What I the think, hell? I think Karen, 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 Karen. Karen. No, I just only have one more task left and I was hyper-focused on that, is what happened. 
Well, oh. I just did it my last task. And now my tasks are done. So, the ghost bra is just gonna wander about. Yeah, I'm just gonna go look, I guess. Um, but yeah, I mean, if if you're like, if y'all hear these these horror stories and you're like, oh my god, like, oh shit, lights again. Um, I guess honestly, <laughs> like that's that's like my main advice to people like you don't have to be you don't have to tackle everything <laughs> sometimes a diff another mod can do it you know yeah and i think i think i like your idea of i mean there's specific we have people assigned to do things where it's like if we need to convince someone or we need to hold someone's hand we send this person yep and if we need to you know oh my god who is flipping lights i'm trying i don't know how to do this i'm already doing it oh okay sorry <laughs> I'm n I don't know how to do it. Sorry. Believe you guys. <laughs> All right. I'm very right. who, who still has tasks? I don't have any tasks. Yeah, I'm Go. done. With if you have tasks, do well. Landon, I'm gonna watch you do your tasks then. I'm done with tasks. The <laughs> it's mochi Ouch. again, y'all. It's mochi. <laughs> Emergency meeting. It's mochi. Or it's thumper. I'm going um, with Mochi. But yeah, have an assigned person to do mm -hmm. um, things. Like we, we know that if the big guns need to come out and we need to push someone out, we send we send Shadow. We do, because <laughs> she's because she'll go because she'll go say the 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 uh, the things that we're not willing to say. <laughs> yeah, she's like, I oh, so she's basically that's she's, who you guys have as what the role that I take. She's hey, like the enforcer. Need freaking, <laughs> yeah, y'all need to shut the fuck up. And listen. <laughs> well, because sometimes, like, I, you know, there's situations where, like, I've talked to them, Landon's talked to them, Naomi's talked to them, shit's not getting fixed, you know, but they're not doing anything. Damn it. She wasn't imposter. Okay, it's Thumper then, yeah. or it's Landon. <laughs> what? Hold on. Karen. Karen, where'd you go? Stay over here. The... I was going to go fix the lights. Okay, there, there you are, Landon. <laughs> I was going to go fix God. the lights. Thumper is here. Are, are you sure you're going to go fix lights? Because they're not getting fixed. I'm working on it. I've got to get there first. How did you go get it? Get there. I walked. Which direction? To electrical. <laughs> From where, Karen? From the cafeteria. My God. Cafeteria, I guess. <laughs> Which way did you take? I just went left. Ever. I went left. All right. Okay. <laughs> Fuck. <sighs> you did a good. Uh... Imposter. You did good. Okay, that was that was a solid oh, win. <clears throat> okay, that was, so that, that was a solid win. Good job. Good job, Thumper. That was so stressful. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah. I'm uh, so bad. I got, uh, I got time for one more game, and then I. Got and then you got to go to work. Okay, understood. Yeah. I don't understand why I've been imposter so many goddamn times. I don't understand why I never get imposter. Like never. The game was full. They know that you're not good at it. I didn't get to join the the game was full. Yeah, what I don't happened? I don't know. It was private, I thought. I must maybe I fucked that up. Um or I'm so sorry, you Thumper. Have so many people watching that that people filled it up. People yeah, all it four up. people on the VOD right now. Yeah, I don't. I'm so sorry. Oh, there's only four people watching, so I think there's only like eight of us total, right? There's you four guys, and there's four people in there. But there was I am now. I am now a ghost. I am now a ghost. I'm a ghost. What? I'm not start. Yep. Because we were we were full like instantly, so I hit the button. Oh. Are you not playing them? Yeah, she didn't. I didn't. I guess I didn't join fast enough. She she did Other people filled it in. So sorry. So I'm just gonna watch the stream. Why oh, did why wow. did a bunch Three why did Kai up. leave? Why did Kai leave though? Oh, this Korean person. Did I don't even know. Out? Blue vented in front of me. Red vented. Right. Oh lord. While we have a while, I'm not playing. Oh, oh I I'm gonna for red. I meant to go for lunch. blue. Fuck. What'd you say, Thumper? She died. Like actually die. Oh God. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> That's sus, Thumper. Am I the only one? Oh, Mochi's in there. Okay. Yeah. Kai got disconnected. I guess. I don't know who Agent Salt or Bat are. <laughs> I meant to vote for Blue. Blue would have been killed if. 
That sucks. I mean, it's a 50-50, so... Okay, ghost task time. No, was, I'm pretty sure it was blue. I just, it was an accident. I meant to vote for blue. Well, there's, the well, rem button. remember there's two imposters, so. Yeah, but they were, they were reversing each other, so. It's fine. O2 can kill us. I already give up on this game. Oh, God. <laughs> Am I being emo enough for everybody yet? Too emo. Dial it back. <laughs> Liar. That's what makes me a villain. It's true. Okay. Wait, blue is Mochi. Mochi, did you get it again? I'm trusting blue they did O2 in front of me. Oh, okay. Okay, Pickles, that sounds like you're trying to cover for them. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I, I, I seriously watched them do it. It's a 50-50, so if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. <laughs> saying that. Yeah, but there's six of you, so it's not 50-50. Okay, well, Lex, we guess we're about to find out. Fuck. Right. Mochi, imposter. why are you always the imposter? I don't understand. It was Pickles. Pickles defending. Gonna just wait my nine seconds. Just gonna say that. This game, like, just really, really wants you to be imposter all the time, Mochi. I don't get it. Like, I tried. I tried so hard to practice the imposter role so I wouldn't fail so bad um, this time. Although I haven't gotten imposter this time, so, you know, maybe it didn't matter. And I, I couldn't. Like, I couldn't get it. Y'all right. get reactor! <sighs> Barely. Nah, Black just killed in front of me, so... Okay, no, I... Ah! Black just... <laughs> it's up to you, Landon. It's just you and Pickles and I. I'm voting... I'm voting... I'm voting you, Pickles. I'm so sorry, but you really... You were really adamant about defending Red, and Red ended up being one. <laughs> or the other way around. It was blue. blue. It was Mochi, yeah. again. I will admit, I third impostered, but... <laughs> so... But no, it's it's black. It blue. It white. On Jesus' no, it's, name. It black. It black. <laughs> well, we're about to find out once black votes. <laughs> Bye, Pickles. Yeah, no, you got me. I, <laughs> <suck as> <laughs> I, do, I really do suck as imposter, so. All right. Do you have, you have to go, though, right? Yeah, I do, unfortunately. Right. Okay. It was wonderful playing with you. Yeah, thanks oh, so much, absolutely. Pickles. Yeah. And I hope I hope Thumper's safe wherever she went. Yeah, I hope so too. <laughs> yeah, get lunch. Hope so too. Oh, she's back. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. to get lunch. Oh, uh, yeah. that makes thanks. sense. All right, thanks for having me on stream. It's been great, guys. Bye. Thanks, Pickles. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for Later. your stories. Later. Thumper, do you have any additional role play horror stories? Gosh, that was. Those were the the most entertaining. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think of what else I have that may not be. Do you remember much of Greta? Um, I could share that. Not, I could share that. Name, by the way, I just I didn't just that was a character name. Yeah, no, um. <laughs> that's just that's just to let me know who she's talking about. Yeah, um, I can share that one. So. Uh, this was a long time ago, so I'll probably get some details wrong, so I'm very sorry if the person that this is about ever finds this and is like, why is Karen lying about me? I'm not. My memory's just probably really shitty, because this is a long time ago, so I don't, I don't really trust that I remember all the details properly. Um, but the way that this went down was this person and then an, another person in the role play that I was running were both doing this ship together, right? And this was in a sort of, we were like sort of semi-canon to, to, our, to our source material at that time. Um, but this was not a canon ship, right? So it was like, can, the game was like canon-ish, right? But this was one of the ways that it deviated from canon. And they got super, super into the ship. They started treating it like they were, they started treating it like they were actually in a relationship with the other person, like the other person that was playing the other part of the ship. And the, that other person became aware that that was happening. 
And they started getting like really freaked out about it. We started talking about it a lot. Like, what do I do? Oh my God, this is, this is crazy. Da, 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 da. And so then um, I stepped in and did some things um, in game, which I shouldn't have done. I should have just talked to them from the very get go, but I didn't realize how deep they were, like how deep that this whole thing was, how, how they felt. Um, and so I did some things in game to try to steer the story a little bit back towards where we had originally planned it to go to try to kind of help with what was going on with the, uh, the parts of this ship that, uh, that the other person was uncomfortable with. And so what that turned into is this person now believed that I was like enemy number one. <laughs> <laughs> I was evil. I was out to get them and ruin their friendships and relationships and that I hated them. None of this was true. I just wasn't as polished of an admin yet and I just didn't handle that very well. And, oh, I'll continue in a moment. Uh, where did they find them? It was an electrical. I was there. Oh, okay. Okay. Red, why are you running away from lights? Oh, oh, are you? Do you think it was a self-report? No, but oh, not red. Oh, dead. It wasn't ready. It wasn't red. Is it? Is it you, Landon? Is it you? Is it, is it you? I, no, I was literally right there. I just walked in on it. Uh huh. Uh huh. Um, I thought it was red. Who ran away from? I could have sworn it was red, but okay. Maybe they vented it. Oh, why did they leave? People's left. Blue was running from lights. Okay. I thought, okay. I think Landon's being sus in the VC and none no, of them can hear I, it. Uh, no, I'm, I'm just getting really confused. <laughs> no. Okay, so here's the thing. I was running from reactor down to lights because lights wasn't getting fixed. Red ran past me. Uh-huh. And then I, and then they apparently reported the body in... In electrical, electrical. uh-huh so i wonder if they vented in because security has a vent into electrical and i didn't see the vent oh i see what you're saying well people vote on something i i voted you as a joke because i don't really know seriously <laughs> <laughs> i don't think anyone else is gonna vote you i don't think anyone else is gonna vote for you so <laughs> Vote, Landon. Vote or skip. Hold on. I'm getting what I'm saying out. Okay. Well, peeps think it's red, clearly. Also, thank you, Karen, for voting me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it wasn't red. Okay. Oh. Well, shit. Two, two imposters remain. So, that's not a, I could have sworn. Well, Maybe I'm just, like, lights, colorblind. lights was jacked, so um, we I'm don't gonna, know. I'm getting lights right now. Okay. Um, okay, so where was I? Oh yeah, so so I was I was doing that simultaneously. This person um, ended up with in in the role play had somebody that was like their bestest best friend that wasn't anybody else involved that I've mentioned so far, and they like actually met up in real life and stuff like that. Sorry, I knew it was you. Fuck. <laughs> I knew it! I, eventually, if you continue to vote me, and you always vote me, you'll get it right eventually. You know what? That's true. <laughs> um, so, so, this, so they met in real life, right? And then things got weird. So apparently, um, this person, Greta... I don't remember that. Oh my god. Yeah, they met in real life. They hung out for a little while, like for like a, a couple days. Um, okay. So then, then after that, things started getting really weird. So Greta that that you know Landon originally gave her that name um started had apparently been talking about me and 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 a bunch of other people behind our backs to this person and this person didn't know how the, to fucking handle it and they started like just going off. Um I'm waiting for you by the way Thumper I don't see you in the game yet. Um, and they started like going off on me, like just like DMing me all kinds of weird, crazy stuff. And I was like, I don't know what's going on. And they were telling me how awful I was and da, 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 da. And after all this, they end up leaving the RP like, okay. And, um, 
And then, and then like, it was really weird, right? And so then eventually things end up getting traced back to, to Greta. We have this huge fight. Um, I finally lay out everything I think and why I've done what I've done and da 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 da. They lay out what they think and why they've done what they've done. And basically they think I'm evil, right? Um, I'm evil for, for interfering with their relationships. Okay. So they, they end up eventually leaving the RP after this huge fight that me and them have. And then um, we don't talk for like months and months and months. Like we completely lose track of them. Then like months and months and months later, they come back into my DMs and they tell me that they're so sorry for what they did in that game because they found out the truth of why they were feeling that way. They had some kind of thyroid issue. No lie. They had a thyroid issue, and once they got treated for it, they realized that everyone in the world was not evil. Apparently, if your thyroid's jacked up, it can make you think that everyone is against you and evil. Um, so, if you ever start to feel hella persecuted in your life, go to the doctor, because you might actually have a thyroid problem. <laughs> that happened. <clears throat> yeah. It was it was a very interesting time. It was bonkers. <laughs> it was bonkers. Um, and, and and I like, the thing that I think is also important is that we were really close to this person. Like, yeah. We were, it, was, it was very much early days for Tumblr RP. It was our first group Tumblr RP. Um and early days we we got really really close to them. There were several RP or like several plots and several big plots revolving around this person. Yep. And they just kind of went insane. Yeah, like literally, like literally their thyroid got messed up and they went crazy. Um, and, and, <laughs> I mean, it sounds yeah, like and, I keep saying that because it sounds like the plot of like a weird like crime TV show or something, but it was real. <laughs> it was real. Yeah. And, um, um, and, and, you know, when they, when they messaged me again months and months later to explain this to me, I kind of blew them off because we were so, so close and I was still like super hurt. Um, and it was, and they were not kind no about, uh, about especially about you behind your back yeah which is fine like i i mean people can talk about me like i don't care you know what i mean but at the but same it, time like, yeah at the same they time were super close friends and then right like at the same time we were really really close um i i i don't understand why they would have told someone that was going to take it in the way that this other person took it Right. You know what I mean? Like, if you want to talk about me behind my back because you're pissed at me or you think I've done something weird or whatever, like, that's fine. I don't have a problem with it. But if you're my friend, like, be choosy about who you go talk to. That's, that's not someone that's going to come back at me and yell at me for the things that you told them. You know, <laughs> like, it's just weird. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, one thing I do really regret, though, is that when they sent me that DM to explain to me that it was a thyroid issue, I was still so hurt that I still kind of blew them off. And I wish that I had actually responded and tried to rekindle that friendship because to this day, I really, really miss that person. Yeah, and I think, and I, they were really, they were such a good writer. They had so many great ideas. Mm -hmm. They, they, it would have been really cool to grow with them because I feel like it would have been, it would have been if they had not, if it, if they had not been sick and, and their brain function doing what it did. Yeah. They'd still be with us. Could, They'd still could, be role playing with us. I could definitely see them still being with us because you, me, Absolutely. Shadow, and person were really close. Naomi would have gotten along with them. And mm -hmm. yeah, they were super, super cool. Vote, Landon. You're the last one. I keep doing this. Who are we voting for? I think so. Some people are skipping, but I kind of think it's Thumper. I'm going to just do Mochi um, because. Got to stop typecasting. You can't just th throw me into the same category as Landon. <laughs> Rude. We didn't have any evidence, so being persecuted. <laughs> You're not being. That's like that's the whole point of this game, Thumper. <laughs> um. So yeah, like I really miss this person. So hey, person, if you watch, yeah. there's no way this person watches my channel and has not reached out to me. There's no way. So I don't. I don't think I don't, that's the case. But to be um, honest, I wouldn't be surprised if this person doesn't RP anymore. Either. Yeah, I don't. I, I'm sure they moved on to other hobbies. Um. So we are stuck with the same hobbies as we had when we were, you know, young children. Yeah. So, um, you know, that's uh, they, they probably would never, never see this um, reach out to me. But on the off chance, um, miss you. 
Would love to role play with you again. Yeah. Uh, reactor. 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 Okay. Well, I was on my way there. <laughs> Did you kill someone in there? No. <laughs> I was going okay. towards it, not away from it. Are you I don't sure? Know. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Thumper, is it you? You don't have a alibi yet. And what's a freaking alibi? I, just, I can I... just say, oh, I was doing weapons. I was doing you admin were doing weapons. Like, no matter where I say, it's not gonna work. I was in weapons, so I know that that was a lie. Kai, Kai I, I was, was Kai examples. was with me. Kai was with I me, was but I... Electrical. So Kai was with me, but I thought that he was gonna vent, and so I, like, hung around a little bit, and then he ended up leaving the room. So, honestly, Kai kinda yeah. sus. I'm voting Mochi. I think I think I, <laughs> I think far, This game because, does really want Mochi to be the imposter. Yeah, I think so far the, the statistically it's in my favor that I'm correct. Naomi so I'm Naomi type it out and I'll do a reading of the other horror story. Um I mean, I'm a horror story just because I definitely have been that person to be like, let's plot two years in advance and then never write it. <laughs> I think we've all self-report. I think we've all done that. Oh, it could be a self-report. It could be white. Um, I think we've all done that at one time or another, gotten a little bit more ambitious than what we actually had the capacity to write. Right. <laughs> let's go with that. It's no, it's not the lack of follow through. It's just that I'm too busy to do anything else. Well, it is it is um, the the lack of knowing how much time you actually have. Uh, yeah. So that that does that is something that's not so good. Well, we're learning? Question mark. Yeah, <laughs> we're learning. Fiction. <laughs> it's fine. Anyway, that's my horror story. Um, <laughs> <laughs> 16 year old me though honestly. <gasps> oh my god that one's so good i wish i remembered i wish i remembered more about my role play when i was younger but the role play landscape was know. so different then um and it was all like very like you would log in and you would role play with somebody for maybe one evening or like a weekend or something and then you would never talk to them again and that was like very typical you know because a lot of it was in chat rooms and even when it wasn't like in a chat room people still kind of behaved like it was you know yeah. So it was just, it was a very different kind of thing. So I don't remember, I don't remember any like horror stories from then, um, except for that my writing was really terrible. <laughs> I definitely. Itself is a horror story. Way too many um, things where I just look back at what I've written and I go, hmm, how do I incinerate a computer? <laughs> <laughs> there are those days too. Yep. It's okay. We're we've all grown from our horror. It's true. Don't kill me. Um. Oh, dang oh, it! I was oh. almost done with the memory game, and now I got to do the whole thing again. I'm uh. still voting Mochi. <laughs> where? You don't actually have to do the whole thing again. It start. It it picks up where you left off. Well, I hope I remember the sequence. It will tell you the sequence. Oh, good. Ooh. I gotta chill. Um, I do remember because like because it was chat rooms and like you would go into a chat room and like you'd post your starter and the starter Wait. was kind of like a lure out there to try to get people to message you. So I would post these like massive rambling awful starters. Brown Brown is grayed out. Did they report and then leave? I think they reported and then leaved. <laughs> and then Why did that keep happening? Yeah. Who does that? They reported and then left. There we go. <laughs> yeah. You're the hell English is hard. It. Listen, <laughs> I get made fun of all the time for how I speak now. That's what I've discovered about middle schoolers. Well, because they make fun of you um, for anything, right? So that must be like the thing that they find, you know. It's at... my favorite. Oh my God, <laughs> can I tell this story just because it's wonderful? Sure. So um, I have a student in my class. Skipping, what are we doing? I, I'm, I'm, skip I'm, I'm okay. skipping. I'm skipping because Brown <laughs> Brown is the one that reported and then they left. So we I, get no um, info. Yeah. Out of 10. Oh, before yeah. you before you share that story, Landon, Naomi has um. Yeah. Here's a horror no, no. story. Okay, so I joined a role play of a supernatural genre as a werewolf. There was nothing in the rules stating that wolves couldn't transform at any time. But once I was accepted, it came to light that the only time I was allowed to write out my werewolf being a wolf was between midnight and 4 a.m. I can't remember the time zone of the admins, but they were in the U.S. So myself and another European were really bummed. 
um, because she wasn't able to write at that time of the morning either. Uh, time wasn't fluid, there was RP lock. Oh my god, this is one of the reasons that I really hate roleplay lock. Um, at some point I'm gonna make like an RP lock versus fluid time video where I basically argue that fluid time is a gajillion times better, and that's what y'all should be doing, not roleplay lock. Um, but, uh, but yeah, this is one of the reasons I really hate roleplay lock, because it, it, damn it, it was Mochi and Thumper! <laughs> she just like yeeted me off of the planet. I yoted. Okay. Well, um, well, so, so yeah, this is why I really hate roleplay lock. So at some point, I'm gonna make a video about that. Fluid time so much better. Um, y'all tell a story or something. I have to go pee. I'll be right back. How go dare you? It. No, I will How tell you this story about a student I have. It has nothing to do with RP, but I think it's adorable and I'm hilarious. I love it. Yes. It. Um, it's so much nicer than the horror stories of my students. <laughs> So I have, uh, I teach fifth grade, and I have a student, we'll call her like M, her name starts with M, uh, and she has started calling me Miss Bowser, because my last name is Bowers, which is fine if you can find me on Instagram, um, and so she has been calling me Miss Bowser, so I have decided to now start calling her every M name other than her actual M name. So we've done Miriam so far. Meredith is going to be next week. Uh, Marissa is going to be one week. So I just want people to send me M names so that I have M names uh, to call this girl because this is what I'm doing now. This is how I'm bullying students. Morgana, Morgan, Mira, Mika. Yeah, yeah Mika. Micah. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> um, um, so Mariposa. That that is me. Uh, that is how I. That is how I take out my humor on my small children who bully me. I bully them back. <laughs> this, so I just got back, and all I all I heard was, um, "I bully them back." <laughs> that's, I mean, Violence that's is the only happen. language that these people understand. <laughs> they've been they've been calling me Miss Bowser instead of Miss Bowers. Oh, creative. And Not so really. I, it is. I love it. And it was a mistake. This one girl does it. She finds it hilarious, though. So I've decided to call her every name but her actual name. <laughs> um, oh, fantastic. On Scrubs. And it's now hysterical. <laughs> and that's what I do. <gasps> that reminds uh, me of Peter's student who would only call him Dr. Geller because he looks like Ross from Friends. I love that. <laughs> yeah, Naomi. Yep. Um, yeah, Naomi, I, I agree. Like, what's the point of writing a, a werewolf character if you can't do the wolf part? So, like, that fucking sucks. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> okay. What time is it? Oh, gosh. We are actually, we're actually almost at the two-hour mark, Landon. Can you believe it? I know. I've been paying attention. Thank you. That is your job, so. <laughs> Sometimes it happens. <laughs> hey, the only time we've really... Uh-oh. Oh. Who got... Who found the dead body without getting lights, guys? Uh, I don't... Sing it the looks like red. And got murdered. <laughs> <laughs> you were fixing the lights and you got murdered? I did. Oh, Funny so that. <laughs> so, yeah. Then somebody else came to go fix the lights. And then found my dead body. Um, Landon, oh. Landon, yeah. pickles can still jump right in, right? Like you didn't mess with their roles. Absolutely, I haven't changed anything. Okay. Come on back. They they messaged in the chat, so I'm telling them get oh, back in here. Sorry. I'm hey, sorry. pickles. Hey, I saw hey. you got you got to you got to call out of work, right? You were sick enough. Yeah, unfortunately, it seems that I. I've measured a pretty high temp, so they they told me to stay home. I like I said, I feel fine. Otherwise, it it just ends up being one of those things. Yeah, we have to do that too at my work. We have to, if we're going to go into the office, we have to take our temperature, and if it's above a certain point, we're not allowed to go in, no matter what. Yeah, yeah. Walmart has a complete self assessment that you can fill out at home, just checking off that you don't have any symptoms, and of course, one of them is taking your temperature. If you have a temperature of a hundred, you got to call in. So. It's a little low. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I called. I was like, look, I feel fine. Otherwise, it was just like, no, stay home. Yep. That's their, that's fine. the policy at my office, too. So I understand. <laughs> I take my antihistamine at a very specific time of night. So that way I just time out the, like, you have, like, you can't 
take um, NSAIDs or antihistamines or anything within a certain point of coming into the office, just so that way it can't possibly even slightly lower your temperature in case oh, you have a fever when they yeah. scan you. Mm -hmm. So I have to take my medication to accommodate when I go into Oof. work. Wow, that's which crazy. Is not my favorite. If I having FND. I have to do the same thing. Like if I'm <gasps> having episode, if I'm having episodes, huge muscle spasm episodes, I have to take my muscle relaxer a certain amount of time before I go into work. Otherwise, I just can't function. Why? Yeah. Why people vote oh. me? I'm. You can. <laughs> Y'all wrong. I don't think they are. We're not watching. And now I regret not voting you because I think you're going to kill us. Well, I, I, they what? voted me and I'm ghost now. D oh, did you die? Yeah, they voted me and you I'm didn't... gone. Oh, were you an imposter? It wasn't no, I, I know. I'm a ghost doing my tasks now. Um, I know you said I didn't, but I know you said I didn't need one, but I actually, thinking about it, I can actually share a kind of a kind of. Not really a horror story, but a major mistake that I made when I first started role playing. Yeah, before. sure, go for it. I mean, this is probably the last game, right before we start, before we go to the end. So, yeah, share yeah. it. All right. Well, when I first, uh, crap, now I gotta get the game code again. When I first nope. started, no, no, you uh, don't, no, you don't, because oh. as as appropriate, guess who was the final imposter? Landon. Oh. Landon. Okay. Uh, Freaking you who killed Lantin. me at, ele at electric. <laughs> All right, let's. Thumper, uh, thank you so much for playing along. I killed Thumper, and Thumper's just like, <sighs> I got killed at electrical. And I'm just like, did you? That's so mean. All right, well, wow. Okay. Well, anyway, Pickle, tell tell your story real quick. Um, and we're, I'm not going to start another oh, game because we're we're too was, close to the two hour mark. But go ahead and tell your right. story, and then we'll do wrap up stuff. All right. Well, as some of you some of you know, I actually joined a pretty toxic. Um, <laughs> group back in the day, the Dark Kasakage, mm -hmm. and really, my my end of the horror story here actually happens when, during my first few sessions of training that I got put through, quote unquote, and they, and this is actually something that I would use to, to really hammer in the importance of detail in combat role-playing with my later students because uh this guy because my my teacher quote unquote put me into a room with three dummies one they each of them forming a triangle around me two of them come in one for a body a body blow i believe the other one going for a head kick and the other one jumping in the air do, doing kind of more of a flying drop kick from above <laughs> and and the way that this all works out for me is instead of just sidestepping out of the way because they're all going to one central point if they if they don't stop they're all going to collide meaning they're all done for <laughs> my my dumb ass <laughs> just decides hey i'm gonna just kill the two that are charging from behind, from the sides of me, and then I'm gonna turn around, look up, and the and one is gonna axe, and then the next one is gonna axe kick me in the head. Now, okay. The way that this is uh, the way I got toxic with this is, it's not in writing or anything, but I, the my instructor had to come in and and use some shadow ability to crush. The other one before it killed me and i'm just like well why did you do that that's dumb i could have done it i could have taken them blah 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 and it's just like and looking back now it's really like no i could have i would have died i that would have been the end of my character's story right then and there first rp in, into my training and just completely dead and here i was throwing a hissy fit because <laughs> because i didn't get to do things my way <laughs> that sounds like the kind of thing that could also easily happen in like a tabletop game like in a dungeons and dragons game or something like that um because like a new new players often don't understand how the math works out and and they totally don't estimate what they can actually do very well um so yeah i think that that probably that probably happens not only in combat role play but in like tabletop role plays as well oh and oh it absolutely does i've seen it a few times 
yep. especially when you get the get the new players that are thinking more along the lines of anime pro tag as their character yep. rather than the fact that tabletop role playing is about the group yep for sure so, all right it, so, let's right go in. ahead yeah so let's let's go ahead and let's go ahead and wrap it up um so landon okay. take us out all right well do we want to do good news yeah let's do one good news article yeah cool 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 cool. it's in the chat okay let me get that up and switch my screen over all right let me re let me pull up twitch again oh go away okay all right, so here we go. Howling with joy. So, congratulations to the gray wolf, which has successfully been lifted off of the USA's endangered species list. Oh, yay! There is what is a the population of what wild baby? gray wolves that they are no longer endangered, and this is the first time in 45 years. Oh, so, um, oh don't live man. in the US then you might not know, but the gray wolves used to be wild throughout like the Rockies and many other parts of the northern uh, parts of the states. And uh, they were all hunted out and taken off and basically killed for both their fur as well as because they were dangerous in killing livestock. Yeah, a to lot of farmers were, would kill them. Yeah, to the point that they yeah. almost went extinct. Uh, and then in the last 45 years, uh, we have been trying to like, we made it illegal to kill them and all of that. And then um, I want to say it was like 14 years ago, maybe, maybe a little longer. Uh, we really started upping and reintroducing wolves into places like the Rocky Mountain National Forest and uh, places in Montana, everything like that. And it has seen an increase enough that we now have a wild wolf populace, which means that they are no longer endangered. Oh, I love it. Maybe yeah, that's, that's all. The, um... Yeah, no one. One of the biggest areas that actually really supported gray wolves was Yellowstone National Park. And I, yeah. I absolutely love it because they are such beautiful creatures and they really do have a huge spot in the ecosystem, especially in areas like that. It's a well-deserved creature to come off the endangered species list. And I'm overjoyed by this. That yeah, awesome. and it's also changed the definitions of an endangered species, like relatively recently. To make it easier to not be an endangered species. Oh, is uh, that why so that's happened manatee. though? The manatee did, had this happen too. And it's like, well, because the definitions of this is laid out by the ESA and by Congress, both of which um, have slightly different agendas in terms of where funding goes for things. Oh, so <laughs> I'm not saying see. that this is definitely what happens. And if all is well with the gray wolf, I am positively thrilled however i'm wondering if it's off of the endangered species list because the standards have been altered well here's the numbers this paragraph has the numbers right here so i don't know what the standard should be but it's definitely doing better because they had under a hundred um individuals in northeastern minnesota and michigan and now they have six thousand individuals so. Yeah, and I know that they've blown up, and not by like huge amounts, but they've definitely blown up in Yellowstone area. On uh, Rocky Mountain National Park, there's been a huge amount uh, in Colorado, everything like that too. Mm -hmm. so, so hopefully, Wyoming. hopefully this is hopefully this is uh, this is something that's going to keep trending in this direction, so that um, so that the wolves are doing much better. Because they are a really, really important part of the ecosystem. And I think that I because I, I have actually seen this story from like Yellowstone's perspective before. And they talk about how once they started reintroducing wolves and having a wolf population again, how much better everything got for like pretty much every other species. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, no, the, uh, the grass got greener. Pretty the, much. Uh, the, the amount of deer in the population declined, which is actually a very good thing because it actually allowed for more green to actually flourish. Mm -hmm. Thus, other creatures were able to come in into this area that was just deer pop population galore. Yeah. And that's, because that's all now Yellowstone was for, for years was deer. Mm -hmm. And then they introduced wolves, the deer population went down, rabbits and other creatures started coming in. 
and a lot of birds like, especially yep yep oh, a lot yeah, of birds a lot of birds that couldn't birds. they couldn't have survived before because there just wasn't enough there wasn't enough vegetation for the bugs to live and stuff like that exactly so, so this i think is overall such a fantastic thing i think overall that this is a really really good thing and i know it's something that the united states has been working on for a long time and while we are certainly not perfect and we have a lot a long 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 way to go environmental wise it's nice to see that there are some things working even if the standards are lower than they were um because of the change in standards but at least it is going in an upward motion yeah this is really nice i love this i, I love this for them and the, and all the people agree. and all the people that are um that are working on this what a nice article thank you so much for sharing landon absolutely okay all right, guys, um, let's go ahead and sign out. Um, Eric and uh, and Thumper, since you guys are here, do you have anything that you want to shout out today? Um, well, I I will shout, I'll give a pretty good shout out to actually my n new, new server that I've been working on for a while now. It's gonna be the main server for the YouTube spoilers that i'm coming out with yeah called, yep called scrub roll plays uh it is linked on karen's channel if anybody wants to join join us there feel mm -hmm. free it's still a very very small server so i would love to have people coming in and role playing discussing things it would, it's going to be a great it's going to be a great area that will of course be where i post a number of videos and even to different people that donate or whatever in the server, they can even get some behind the scenes looks on the server. Eric, I'm so excited for you to get started with this and get started um, posting. I know you've been, been working on this um, for a while now to kind of get your first several videos going. Um, because I have been like the only person in this space for so long <laughs> and there's only like there's only like one other person right like Lunar does some of this stuff on on Twitch um, and that's it and she's not even primarily focused on that a lot of times like she's she does a lot of hangout streams too you know it's not all role play help and no one else is doing this on YouTube so um, so I'm really really excited and I've got a, I've got a lot of hope for you that it goes well um, so yeah you'll go show Eric his support and if you're curious about when his channel is going to get started, make sure that you join that server. Um, I'll also definitely be shouting you out once your channel gets started in my server as well. Yeah. And of course, we discussed this in the past. I I look forward to it. And but, and when the time comes, we I would definitely love to collab with you. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, Thumper, um, do you have anything that you want to shout out? Shout out, um, like... <laughs> physical disability aids uh because this video made me a whole mess oh. um what because it was so freaking emotional um <laughs> to read the caption thanks to a pair of bionic gloves this 80 year old classical pianist can finally yeah. play the piano again <gasps> the maestro Joel Carlos Martins had lost dexterity in his hands due to aging and health complications and being able to play again it his face says it all and i was an emotional oh my wreck. god he looks so happy this, this is only a few seconds so i'm just gonna play i'm just gonna play this it's only a few seconds oh my gosh look at him oh. so yeah shout out to all the innovators and the people who are creating aids to let people enjoy their lives again not just live them as a functional little drone of capitalism but to enjoy what makes life worthwhile i love this thank you so much what a what a good shout out thumper i love it okay we'll pause the video now all right um and then landon where can everybody find you you can find me on instagram at land in maine i post funny things um and great content so please follow me uh, you can also find me here weekly at Enter Stage Window, mm -hmm. and um, sometimes I pop my head into Landon and Karen's or Karen and Landon's cafe, and uh, so you can find me there too, being sarcastic. 
<laughs> yes. Um, okay. So where you can find me is right here, of course, on Twitch every Saturday from around noon to two. That's where we do my stream. That's like conversations with friends called Interstage Window. We also stream on Thursday evenings. That is called Artistic License. And that's more of my experimental stream for stuff I want to do or stuff I want to try that doesn't fit in anywhere else. Like, for example, last Thursday, I played a horror game. I hate playing horror games. Why I thought this would be a good stream that would actually last two hours. I don't know. It didn't. It only lasted an hour. You can find it on my I, YouTube I, channel. If you're ever curious, I, I had to. I watched it on YouTube. It was oh hilarious. God. If you are curious about what I sound like when I scream, that is that's on the internet now. For I guess until I decide to delete it, but it's there. <laughs> and even then, everything on the oh, internet. Come on, don't delete it's it. true. It's, it's awesome. oh, I'm not. It's it's a it's a good stream. Like it's a good stream. <laughs> That's why it's up there because it's actually good. Um, We're just here to embarrass you guys, embarrass ourselves for your entertainment. Guys. It's exactly pretty much, pretty much. <laughs> this is completely true. <laughs> um, and then the circus. and then the other place that you can find me is on my YouTube channel. That's all linked below in the about section of the of the twitch and um and on there i do a show called spare room which is my scripted role play help show so that's where you can find like my scripted really like where i've thought about it advice for various things and that's every wednesday at 2 p.m um other places uh it's mostly advertisements but sometimes i post hot takes on my twitter so you can follow me there that's at it's karen terry and um if you really thought that it looked like fun what um what pickles and what thumper did today come in on the vc with us and you'd like to potentially do that in the future in addition to watching the streams live you'll also want to join the discord which is down below you can get that down there um and yeah that's it that's all the places basically you can find me all right we're that's it we're done thank you guys so much what a good episode that was so much fun playing among us oh, with you that guys was, that was that was awesome yeah I really, I really enjoyed it yeah thank you guys all right, all right. bye don't forget to be awesome yeah make Later. it a great day guys Stop All right. being imposter. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs>